Hello guys and welcome back to the newscast. Today we're going a bit retro and trying out Portal 1. I've played through the game before, but it's nice to give you guys some good gameplay. Hello! Hello! Wait, you have a little red light. Does that mean you're a part of the red man thing? Good. Ow! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from me. Why, for favor, The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. Alright, I'm taking this thing with me. It is a part of the conspiracy. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weight and storage cube. Okay. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Here? Aha! Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science Handheld well, Portal yeah. Device. With it, you can create your own portals. These okay. interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. Sorry, what? Oh! Ah! No, 
idea what that means. It's like six other things to But anyways, guys, that's the end of the portal video for today. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.